Michael, so welcome back. I am so, so happy. Words cannot express how excited I am to be back to actually record a video and upload it, record it, and just feel myself for once. I mean, because I've been in quite a lot of pain over the last two weeks, as you guys already know, and um, it feels great to actually just sit down and be able to talk to you guys. Like, hello, that feels so good. So anyways, so today I wanted to do a create a sim in The Sims 4 with two best friends, Annabelle Huston and Scarlett Maxwell. So let's just talk about Annabelle really quickly. So she is a romantic young teenager with dreams and hopes and aspirations to be a famous author. She wants to have her, uh, she wants to have her, um, her own line of books, uh, all about fashion. Annabelle is way into her fashion. She is romantic, so she really wants to find a boyfriend. She wants to settle down in the future and have children and all of that sort of stuff, but she doesn't want to quite settle down right now. She's, you know, still young and everything like that, so she's only a teenager still, so she's got no intentions of going or dating anyone, like, until she's older, if that makes sense. Maybe when she's a young adult or an adult, but anyways, let's just move on. So, yeah, she wants to create a whole series of books, volume one right through to 100 about fashion, beauty and, well not so much beauty, but more focusing on fashion and the importance of feeling great when choosing an outfit and how to dress for your shape and your size and colors and concept of different outfits and things. All of that sort of stuff she's really into. And she's interested in the history of fashion as well. So, you know, 1960s fashion right through to like 1900s, you know, right from the dawn of time pretty much. So she's really into that. That's why she loves books and going to the library. Um, she really, really is a goofball. So she loves to joke around. She is literally, um, some would see her as a... Uh, some people actually, it's quite surprising, some people say that Annabelle is a bit immature. She comes off as really immature to a lot of girls at her school, but she's really not immature. She's just a real, I don't know, goofy person. And also Scarlett is a goofball as well. So that's why they like get on so well. They have the same personalities pretty much. Well, not the same personalities. They, they're quite different actually, but the same trait being the goofball makes them click so well so Annabelle is your typical A grade student she's never been really out of line at all she lives with her parents and they live in Windenburg in the uh, really really nice house in Windenburg you guys like really good so <laughs> their house is four bedrooms four bathrooms everyone's got an ensuite and they have maids and they have caterers sometimes they really are not short for cash at all so the school that they go to is an all-girls school in Windenburg now this school is really strict on the way that the girls dress and for the everyday wear that is what they wear to school the only difference being is that they always get in trouble for wearing their necklaces and their makeup and um you know the, the teachers always you know tell them off for wearing their necklaces but they just tuck them inside their blazers and nobody even knows so they really are in trouble you guys they're never really in trouble um when they first started wearing their um necklaces necklaces and stuff to school they did get in trouble but, you know, they're pretty straight A students, um, you know, never really been out of line. Um, so, yeah, let's move on and talk about Scarlett Maxwell. So she is more of the troublemaker out of the two best friends. She is the one that's kind of a bit tempted to tell the teachers that she doesn't approve of their decisions and that she's the one that would, like, she's the one that would stick up for the two of them. Like, I'm not going to lie, she, she's very outspoken. She's got her own way of dealing with things, which probably isn't the best way sometimes when she's trying to tell a teacher to leave her alone and back off when the teacher is telling her to tuck her blazer into her dress, into her skirt. But, you know, it's all lighthearted fun and, and then the teacher kind of gets mad and then she says, okay, I'm sorry, miss. I'm really sorry. I will do it. And then she's just like this sweet, innocent little girl that would never kind of step out of line, if that makes sense. So, you know, she's quite, quite the character, Scarlett. 
Scarlett does live with her mum. They live in Windenburg as well. And the two girls actually bus together every day to high school, which is so freaking awesome. Uh, Scarlett is interested in a lot of things, actually. She's interested in music. She's interested in makeup. She loves makeup. Her favorite brands are MAC, Estee Lauder, Revlon, and she also loves, like, other brands and things as well. But her favorite, uh, 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 of course, MAC. MAC? And Chanel are her favorite makeup brands. Um, whereas our girl Annabelle isn't really interested in makeup. She she really doesn't. And Scarlett's always like, oh, come on, let's just put a little bit of makeup on you. So she complies sometimes. But Scarlett, it being so outspoken, she will always just say, oh, come on, babe, you look so pretty. But yeah, these two have been best friends since elementary school. And they are just so close, you guys. They go for sleepovers. They watch Netflix and chill. And um, yeah, Scarlett... Is very creative and she's also a goofball as well and she really wants to find a boyfriend but you know it's it's pretty hard since they go to an all-girls school and stuff but pretty much this is the creator sim i hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i will see all of you beautiful lovelies in the next video coming really soon bye guys